more lunch break. Hey guys, welcome back to another lunch break. Hey. Hello. There's something on the internet that needs to be addressed. Very pressing issue. It's a very blatant issue. This huge phenomenon. Subtle. Asian. Traits. SATs. You guys probably have heard about it. It's a Facebook group that has a million? Almost. We discovered it while we were on the road, while we were on tour. Jen showed us it first, cause you know, she's the most savvy. <laughs> My college friends are like, have you heard of this? And I was like, no. They added me to this and I was like, why are there 500,000 people on this group? And it's just this group page full of memes that anyone could submit and they're all Asian related. And I was like, ah. Largely East Asian related. No. 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 Really? Are you Wrong. sure? But it's, ma ma it's heavily, it's heavily East Asian. Like I would say yeah, like 80% of it is yeah. like Chinese, which I can't understand, but there's a lot of Vietnamese memes now. I love it because that's like only I can understand it, you know? I like how you take the time to explain to us. You're like in Vietnamese there's a way of saying this and that's why it's fun. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that education. So this has blown up over the past like month. It's so crazy that we could just say the name of the group and people will just chatter, 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 laugh, laugh, laugh. Mm -hmm. It's like we just, we just said it. It's like we're part of an inside joke. <laughs> Maybe we should back up for the people that still don't really get what it is. It's a group that highlights certain things people might have grown up with if they're of Asian heritage. Little like family things, things about parents, things that you can relate to basically. Things that you might even be ashamed of but they're celebrating it in a funny, or poking fun at those things. Yeah, I feel like you explaining right now sounds like an old man <laughs> trying to <laughs> explain what this young person thing is. Is us talking about it making it worse? I'm explaining it to that person that has zero idea yeah, right, what right. even what a meme is. But another big part of this is that it's a private group. You have to be invited by <laughs> your friends or something to be a part of it. I mean, it, it blew up. The feeling of being exclusive made you want to know about it. Mm -hmm. Jen first told us that we were on this. this Someone group. reposted one of our Instagram like memes right, so, to this group. So the, first of all, they're stealing stuff. Anyways, she said like, oh, hey, we're, we're on this this meme page on Facebook. So I was like, okay, cool. I went to go look it up and I couldn't find it. And I was like, what's going on? How come I can't find it? And then that's when I realized you'd be invited. And I was like, what? That's stupid. I want to be in it. And then once you are invited and you get in, you see all your friends that are already oh, a part yeah. of it. And then when I saw that, I was like, what the heck? Why didn't you guys invite me? And they're like, damn, Phil found out. It's funny because I kept telling you guys, but I wasn't actually inviting yeah, any of you guys. Let's start with like the one that relates to us. Someone posted <laughs> a video they took of us on tour. Yes, yeah. at the airport. We didn't even know they were filming us and they posted it on Solo Asian Traits and that's how we found out. No, the first time you, you mentioned it was when they reposted the meme of like the mom the stranger, texting yeah. the strangers yeah. again meme, right? Yeah. Our content has been on there, but I never expected to be on there. Like, like that, uh, yeah. Like hidden video. It was yeah, like yeah, TMZ stuff. Yeah, we were waiting for our luggage and we looked like crap because we were like, coming back from a long the, flight. The crazy part is that like, there's a good chunk of Wong Fu stuff on there. Yeah, which is cool. Which is kind of cool. I guess we were subtle Asian traits before there was yeah. subtle Asian traits. <laughs> I'm actually having fun commenting on all the Wong Fu posts to, to let people know that we're watching. Yeah, that's dangerous, Wes. <laughs> the Stranger Again's one was um, something that we made and it was like someone watching Stranger Again, but there's a text that says from your roommate and it says, it's 3 a.m. Why are you crying in your room? On Instagram, is it okay? But then it did like a hundred times better on this Facebook group and I was like, what? <laughs> Facebook really does give like a second life to like all our content. Even like our YouTube videos, they might get a certain number of views on YouTube. A lot of our videos, like they get more views on Facebook. Mm. I thought you were talking about this Strangers Again one. Oh no. Oh, I didn't That's see new, this one. one. I didn't make that. I didn't make that. Middle school me? <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting because we, when we've been on tour like just this past month, a lot of people are saying, oh my God, I watched you guys since middle school. And they say, oh, their first video was like Strangers Again. I'm like, how did you guys even understand what Strangers Again was about <laughs> in middle school? But we didn't. So now, so now we know they, this was their reaction as Pikachu. Oh, I love surprise Pikachu. So I screenshot it so many. I've sent so many of my friends these. I think I like it because like when I see memes on Facebook, I would only look for the Asian ones mm. and those were my favorite ones. So I think it's awesome that it's all in one place and uh, I can relate to, I can relate to literally almost everything. You're being served exactly literally what almost, you want. Yes. For example, mm -hmm. there's like these, this format where it's like the square. There's been a lot of like language ones, so like language puns. So I think those are really funny. So like this one's a Vietnamese one. So it says ang tet, which means eat meat. So it says eat meat, eat rice, eat pho. And the last one is means get punished, <laughs> but still the word eat. So it's kind of like confusing. Yeah, yeah. Word, yeah. Wordplay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a pun. So there's, I think those are really funny. Oh, if I was if I was Vietnamese, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> isn't that is weird? How <laughs> eat and punishment are like. Or the there's same. a lot. There's like one. There's a lot. There's so many boba memes. 
that's like, wow, my heaven. But this one is like, you finish your entire meal and then you're like, I'm so full. My brain, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Let's go get boba. <laughs> <laughs> it's so subtle. It's so subtly Asian. That was that was the one where it was also like, I don't feel like going out tonight. Oh, I see about getting boba. Okay, I'll come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. I was like, that's so Jen. Oh, she's tagged already. I had this one I thought was hilarious. It was a video. I'll just show you guys. You might have already seen it. Stopping a fire with the flip flop. Flip flop. No. What? <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> so like this guy's, someone's running off to get help. That's some anime. <laughs> That's some anime shit. This guy just takes off his two flip flops and puts on a fire. He just throws it at it. I feel so bad if I was the person running to get help. I like all the Pikachu ones. This is the Asian glow one I really liked. Oh. When they like appropriate the meme, they put like an ID Photoshop of oh. Pikachu. My favorite ones are the ones that show you that like, it's like, oh, you're not alone. Like Vietnamese, like Vietlish or like Chinglish. It's like, oh, you're not the only one who doesn't really know the language. Like, yeah, this yeah. one is like the brain one. Speaking consistently in Vietnamese. No. Speaking Vietnamese and using occasional English word when you don't know. Switching back and forth for no reason. This one says like, yeah, mom, I'm dang ang with <laughs> some of my bang right now. I can't go to, it's like, just. <laughs> Is that the first time you've ever spoken Vietnamese? No. Ham jai, ang gum, whoa. Good job, I think. Everything I'm scrolling through is like funny, like when you're Asian over six yeah. feet tall. <laughs> There's a short one of the brain one, when people ID you and think you're underage, when like white people think you're a child, when Asian parents think you're a child, when children think you're a child. <laughs> I was like, dude, so many short Asian girls are tagged in this. A lot of themes coming through. Our friends post stuff, that's yeah. always fun. I always have a little bit of pride when I see my friends post stuff. Son of Benson posted something that was funny. Our friend Adrian, she shared this amazing life hack she, that she does. She takes a business card holder, like a booklet, and she puts all her uh, Bobo stamp cards inside. How many likes did she get? It's like a- Like 5,000 5, or something? Wow, yeah. wait, wait, wait. We kind of skimmed over Benson. He's gonna be butthurt if we don't talk about it. He's like, what about me? Benson's was funny. Benson's was less about like something relatable and more like a commentary mm -hmm. on the group itself. So he was making a commentary on the non-Asians that were in the in the group. Are there a lot of non-Asians in subtle Asian traits? It makes sense, right? Like anyone can- I mean, sure, but I don't- They can't discriminate. I mostly see the people commenting, they are Asian. Probably a bunch of people like laughing, but like knowing they, feeling like they can't participate. So you don't come yeah. like. It seems like there's a lot that's Pokemon related, a lot that's like fast food, McDonald's, whatever related. A lot of food related a stuff. A lot of ABG stuff, a lot of fuckboy stuff. Maple Story is I, I literally just scrolled on Maple Story right now. It's always funny when you see like just the YouTube Asian culture in these memes too. Like you see a lot of David So or Kev Jumba show up. Yes. Yeah. A lot of starter packs. A lot of, if you didn't watch Wong Fu, are you even Asian? <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. Videos. I saw one that was um, Kev Jumba, Ryan, Wong Fu, and one other. It was, you can only shoot, you can only watch one for the rest of your life. Oh, oh that's, no. Oh, oh, no. What, what did we oh. score? There's also apparently subtle Asian dating now. Like they have offshoots. Is this the same group? It's no, some... someone else made this. Oh. This is a new one. But it's not just... memes though. It's right? like a- It's like a Craigslist. It's thirsty Like a kids. Tinder, kind of. It's half trolling. Yeah, making They're saying some. gassing up their friends. They don't really mean it. Cause like the descriptions are just very ridiculous. Like, uh, very wholesome, but can be blah, 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 blah. You know, like. Why do you know? It sounds like you've been uh, scrolling through. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> Looking for a wholesome guy. It's crazy how many people want wholesome and like, fuck boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wholesome ABG. It's like, it's like, okay. That's a like, paradox. Choose one. <laughs> and they're like, ooh, ABG can be your rave bay. And I'm like, this is so you know that that tells me it's like if you're actually wholesome, if you're able to play into a, a fuck boy. Same thing if you're if you're a wholesome girl, but you know how to like ABG it up once in a while. Like power to you. Power to you, I guess. I feel like it's easier to go that way than it is the other way. I think the most amazing part about it, it's a community curated group. Like it's not just one person yeah, yeah. that's leading this and moderating it. I think that's why it's so successful because everyone can yeah. feel a little creative. Even Benson getting excited that you know he gets a lot of likes or whatever, or validation, I guess. Are you guys curious, like, why this group? Why now? Because we've seen the, we've seen the memes. Yeah. There, there's been other meme groups before, like, yeah. on, I mean, Instagram, on Instagram has a lot. Has, yeah. Instagram has a ton. Memes are all over Instagram, right? But w what is it about Facebook, this group? Is it because they open it up? I think it's exactly what Taylor's saying, is that it's because it feels like a community, mm -hmm. rather than I'm following a personality or I'm following a brand. And then you see, also, you see your friends on it, too. I think it's the fact that you can submit stuff yeah. yourself. Like you have power, not just you're following someone else. Yeah. And like you're laughing at their stuff. Mm. It's like, oh yeah, my friend did this. Ha, I support you. But it's a lot of Asian pride and like maybe that plays into now. It has been a crazy 
time for like Asian yeah. uh, awareness and Asian pride in general. Right. Things to celebrate. It's not necessarily things that are in media, but we're celebrating our own background. Yeah, <laughs> the subtle. subtle things that we <laughs> grew up with or that we talk about in our own you know, friend groups and stuff. So it is a little bit of empowering. I think it's cool because things you don't talk about that get brought up and you all know. It's like the yeah. plastic bag Oh, okay. Drawer, right? Yeah, yeah. We never talk yeah, about that. It's so normal. But we all know it. When it's brought up, we can all nod our head. Right. And be like, oh, wait, yeah, we all know. When I go down certain Twitter threads and I learn about other people's cultures, I'm like, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. We should option it and make a movie about solo Asian trades. <laughs> it's like the social network, except oh. like, solo Asian trades. The, the same like font and face of like an Asian guy going, Dude, you don't get to <laughs> yeah, 700,000 yeah. friends without making With, a few yeah. memes. <laughs> we should reach out to the, the admins and say like, we should do like a fake trailer. They're like, it's not fake. The drama is real. I keep thinking that I'll get sick of it, but I keep finding memes that are funny. So I'm like, dang it. I kind of want to be over it. And I'm like, no, I'm not over it. That's, it's still relatable. That just shows you how rich our culture, culture is. <laughs> as long as it doesn't get like hateful or bitter. That's us. I, think. I talked about this with my friend Jay. He has a white roommate. Kind of had to explain to the the friend what this was. And I think there's a little bit of like- Jealousy? They feel left out. I think they wish they had something like that. My reaction to that is, welcome to our entire right. lives. We've been left out of everything, so why can't we have this space? They don't think we shouldn't have it. It was just like, you know, you're in the robotics club, that's cool. I wish I knew robotics too. I think I would tell them it's like, take a step back and realize that you have this normal. If you're white in America, majority, not everyone, majority, it's like you've been part of pop culture. You've had your subtle white American things already seen in movies right. and, you know, books and television in so many ways, you know, right. like every little joke in subtle Asian traits, every meme, that could be a line in a script or in a movie or whatever. And, we, and we've never gotten to show that, which is why I think maybe even Wong Fu is so prevalent there's because like we're one of the few with other YouTubers that actually got to put these jokes into script video form. I think on the flip side, it's gonna become problematic when people are like, are stuck in this bubble of Asian-ness yeah. that they're not thinking about the other race groups, because I've already seen some problematic posts and comments. Mm. They think it's okay because it's just other Asian people oh, who yeah. get it, and I think that's not okay. So if you guys are posting or commenting, it's okay to watch out for those things and not support yeah. those things, because I don't think that's, a that's good point. okay. I think it's important that as we try to uplift ourselves that we're not bringing other people down yes. in the process. Yes. Well, we're enjoying it. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you guys don't know about it. Sucks for you! Ask, yeah, <laughs> ask a friend. Like we said, it's about balance. It's about being positive. It's about celebrating the good and appreciating each other. I feel like we're doing a PSA for them. It's almost as if we're like hired by them. Be like their moderators. Hey guys, so subtle Asian traits told us to say. We're literally doing like what the parents would do. Right? Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. making it worse. I think it's like, guys, this is fun. Let's not, let's not kill it. Yeah, let's you not know, ruin don't, it. Don't overdo it. So anyways, we'll see you in there. Or you'll see us. All right, guys, this was a lot of fun, and um... We're selling a calendar, the Asian Bachelorette 2019 calendar. Celebrates more Asian American How have you not seen that yet? Yeah, they're not so subtle Asian traits. Yeah, there's nothing subtle about those traits. <laughs> 12 months of it. So grab that, wongfustore.com. Yeah, links below. Thanks for watching, guys. This was a lot of fun. We'll see you next Thursday.